Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the one word that will stop a bully in their tracks. Stick around to find out more. Nobody likes to be bullied, and no one likes to see their kids being bullied. Bullying can impact someone on a physical, mental, and emotional level, and have long-term physical and psychological effects on them as well. From headaches, feelings of nausea, loss of sleep, to more serious cases, suicide or violent behavior, there are many different strategies and approaches on how to deal with bullies, and you can keep your eye on my playlist here as I plan on delving into a lot of these to help you fully understand bullying. But if I had to choose what is the one best way to stop someone from bullying your child, I would sum it up in just one word. And that word is... Confidence! Now this is not a word that you're going to say to the bully and they're magically going to stop harassing you. Confidence! You see, bullies don't randomly choose their targets. All the bullying experts agree on one thing, that bullying is an imbalance of power. The bully wants to have power over you. They want you to lose so that they can win. That is what makes the game fun for them. If they think they're going to lose, they don't want to play the game. Bullies choose their victims so that they can have power over them. So if their victim is likely to stand up to them, in most cases, they'll look for an easier target, someone that makes the game fun for them. If you look at the kids that are most commonly targeted by bullies, they have a lot in common. They will often be loners or have very few friends. They will be introverted, anxious, and submissive. There's quite often something different about them, be it their race, color of their skin, their sexual orientation, or a learning disability. Research tells us that if a child has at least one friend though, their chances of bullying decreases dramatically. When a child's friend is there to back them up, the bully now has to consider the fact that they're playing their game against two people instead of one. So to prevent your child from being bullied, you want to build their self-esteem and their confidence. Give them a chance to make lots of friends and become a person that the bully will look at as someone that will not be easy to win against. So let's set up a plan to build self-confidence. The first thing to do is have your child write down three things that make them great. It could be anything, really. What do they like about themselves? Do they have a great sense of humor? Are they good at puzzles, sports, music? Are they nice to other people? Whatever it is, have them write it down so that they can reinforce those thoughts in their own mind. When they understand that they have value, it's a good starting place for building more self-worth. Next up is finding other people with similar interests as your child. We're all different, but somewhere out there are some people that share their interests. Have them join a group that has a similar interest, whether it's sports, martial arts, chess club, arts and crafts. Surround them with others that share their interests. It's important to find an activity that they enjoy and stick with it. Don't jump from one activity to another. The idea is to build a consecutive string of successes. When they interact in these groups, you will find that each small success will bring them more and more confidence in their abilities and in themselves. Every new technique learned, milestone reached, and aspect mastered will show them that they can do a lot of amazing things and increase their sense of self-worth. Someone with a high self-esteem carries himself differently than someone that has low self-esteem. Their shoulders are back, their chin is up, their eyes are looking straight ahead. They look and feel more confident. When they look more confident, they will communicate a message of, I'm not an easy target. This, in most cases, will encourage the bully to pass them by as an intended victim. Another benefit of joining groups or activities with other children with similar interests is that they will develop friendships within these groups. When they are socializing and creating friendships, they are less likely to be targeted by a bully because now the bully must deal with a group of people as opposed to an individual. While increasing your child's self-confidence is not a guarantee that they will not be targeted by a bully, as some bullies will target kids that are successful or popular, it will deter the majority of bullies. On top of that, there's really nothing wrong with having a confident, successful kid anyways. It will only help them throughout life. So there you have it, the best way to stop a bully from picking on you. As I stated earlier, check out my playlist here for more information on how to deal with bullies. 
Feel free to ask a question in the comments below if there's anything specific you would like answered. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that subscribe button below, like, share, and leave a comment. I'll see you all in the next video.